Hello, I present Specialized Rockhopper Expert 29 in size small from 2015. It was almost the highest version of Rockhoppers at that time, coming in 3 colors and 5 sizes. It's equipped with a Sir Santor air fork with tapered steer tube and 8mm of travel, which grows to 10cm in bigger size. Cheap Tektro disc brakes, simple but working SRAM 2x10 drivetrain, and what's very important with better, two-piece stout cranks spinning in external threaded bottom bracket. This generation of Rockhopper was the last one with external cable routing, which is mounted on the lower tube of front triangle, so it's hard to clean and as you can see, it collects a lot of mud. Unfortunately, in this case, I couldn't move it to upper tubes, as I did with the previously reviewed Specialized Jet. This expert differs from catalog specification with saddle and seat post, which should be branded by Specialized. The same as grips, stem, handlebar, wheels and heavy, narrow ground control 2x1 wire tires, which as you can see, lift 8 years without any problems. In this configuration, bike weighs 13.7 kg, but from my experience, I know that on rock hoppers you can go down to 12 or even 11 kg. I started weight reduction with changing the drivetrain to 1x10 with proven Decas chainring, Shimano Z shifter and XT derailleur with clutch. I create more comfortable riding position thanks to M-Wave handlebar with bigger 10 degrees back sweep and with higher 30mm rise and super comfortable Ergon SMC saddle in the women's version that I'm using myself now. I also replaced old tires with super fast and puncture resistant Continental Racing shield walls. Lastly, I added cheap but light and white VP537 platform pedals. Links to these parts you can find in the upper right corner and in the description. Such changes, depending on your sales skills, cost about 100 to 150 euros and thanks to them, weight of the bike dropped by 1 kg. But more important than weight, which difference most people won't even notice, is that the bike has become more comfortable, rolls faster and is easier to keep it clean. And these are the things that makes all the difference. So if you're planning to buy a bike for about 4 to 700 euros, think about it. Do you prefer heavy, slow and poorly equipped, but new bike? Or maybe it's better to buy a good base from decent brand and invest 100 euro in parts that you choose, not the most profitable, to the producer. Soon I will release new movies with next generations of rock hoppers, to which you really welcome. Thanks for watching, if you have any questions feel free to write in the comments and if you like the video drop a like and subscribe my channel where I publish new movies every Monday and Thursday. See ya!